now, STC brings you the latest news from Hollywood. Hi everybody, I'm Dave Axelgard, and this is a special DVD edition of STC News. Well, life just hasn't been fair for the Weinstein Company lately. Their last five major theatrical releases, which include great movies like The Hunting Party and I'm Not There, have pulled a combined $65 million at the box office. As a frame of reference, it took Alvin and the Chipmunks about 10 days to make that much. Yeah, all is not right with the world. So, understandably, the Weinsteins are looking for other ways to make money. To wit, they've announced the launch of three new lines of home video releases. The first, and arguably most exciting, is the Miriam Collection. Named after the mother of studio heads Bob and Harvey Weinstein, the Miriam Collection will release deluxe editions of classics old, new, and foreign. And they're starting off with one of the best and most overlooked classics of Hollywood's golden age. It's called El Cid, and it stars Charlton Heston as the legendary Spanish hero who drove the Moors from medieval Spain. And as far as epics go, it's pretty much a must-have. And with the exception of the old Criterion Laserdisc, this is the first time El Cid has been released digitally. But let's get real. If you're still rocking the Laserdiscs, it's probably time for an upgrade. The late 80s are calling, and they want their technology back. Plus, I'm pretty sure the Laserdisc didn't come with a sweet El Cid comic book. Booyah! El Cid hit stores at the end of this month. In addition to the Miriam collection, the Weinsteins are also launching Kaleidoscope TWC and Dimension Extreme. Kaleidoscope will focus entirely on inoffensive kids' movies, while Extreme will focus on very offensive grown-up movies. The kids' line will include a CG version of The Nutty Professor, plus Hoodwink 2, Hood vs. Evil, zing, a surprisingly funny and surprisingly successful follow-up to last year's animated hit. Less promising is the Extreme line, which will start off with the release of Pulse 2, the sequel to the 2006 thriller that earned more money in DVD rentals than it did at the box office. So, my recommendation for now, stick to the Miriam collection. That's the DVD news. I'm Dave Axelgard. We'll see you next time.